Hi. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Hello, sí, teacher. Hi, it's good to see you again. Qué bueno verles. Creo que... Uy, qué... Um, ay, perdón, me distrajo que están tirando cuetes y a saber por qué. Um, que creo que no me pueden ver ahorita. Me, me tira una notificación de que tengo problemas con la cámara. Permítanme, denme un momento. Un momento. Start video. Me avisan si me pueden ver. ¿Me pueden ver ahora? Sí, teacher. Vaya, qué bueno. Um... Hi, it's good to see you again. Qué bueno verles un día más. Hey, qué raro que solo vemos cuatro. Ya son las ocho. Qué raro. But I hope that you are fine. Um, just decirles que se, se continúa un poco enferma. Así como me escucharon ayer, hoy ha estado peor. Ay, literalmente está estado tosiendo sangre. Así que um, estoy un poco mal todavía. Así que voy a tratar en la medida de lo posible que tengamos una clase más en la que ustedes tengan que hablar que en la que tenga que hacerlo yo. Porque me siento bastante, bastante mal todavía. Pero pues no vamos a dejar la calidad y la dinámica de la clase por ello. Um, sin embargo, creo que todavía nos hacen falta un par de alumnos. No sé dónde estarán, but uh, what about you? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Ready para terminar este módulo, ya solo nos faltan tres clases con la de hoy, Entonces serían dos más, aparte de esta, y terminamos el módulo. ¿Cómo les fue con la plataforma? ¿Todos la terminaron? ¿Ustedes la terminaron? Ay. Yo sí la terminé. ¿Y estaba fácil? Eh, solo tuve problemas con un ejercicio. Que no me recordaba, tuve que ir al cuaderno y estudiar y luego ejecutar el, el ejercicio, pero sí. Ok. And that things happens, siempre pasa. Que hay, hay cosas que hay que volver a revisar antes de, de, de poder ejecutarlas. I understand. So don't worry, you are doing fantastic. En las clases yo los veo, yo sé que lo están haciendo bien, así que sé que no les debe costar realizar la plataforma de aprendizaje, pero quería asegurarme que todos lo hubieran hecho. Ay, oh, perdón. Ah, um, um, ay, ¿qué les iba a decir? No, que um, espero que, que todos hayan terminado por completo esta parte de la plataforma. Y... Quiero saber si quedó alguna duda respecto a los últimos temas que vimos. Creo que el último, último fue el de Family. Y antes de eso vimos Walt. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta respecto a esto. Is there some questions about Walt? No. I think it's pretty easy. Creo que en realidad es bastante fácil. Los modal bars en realidad son bastante fáciles. Que okay, me alegra que no están teniendo problemas. Because we're going to start with some exercises about um, about this. 
So um, we're going to uh, see like another topic, but we're, we're going to practice a world one more time, okay? One more time. So um, for this, I just want to check. Quiero checar. Dice Wilber que está muy mal y solo va a escuchar. Ok, thank you for telling me. Gracias por avisarme. Um, I understand. <laughs> Yo entiendo, yo estoy enferma también. Don't worry. Ok. Um, I'm, we're going to have a, a, a reading first of all. But I'm going to show you my screen. Tell me when you can see it. Y me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, can you see my screen? Can you see the, 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 the book? Yes. Okay, so this is a little reading about the typical families. And we're going to read some facts about the United States, and then we're going to talk about these facts, but in our country. So for this, I need three volunteers to help me to read. The in a home, the work family, and the marriage. ¿Quiénes me quieren ayudar a leer ese typical families? Solo son como unos datos. En Estados Unidos, y luego vamos a ver los de El Salvador. Me, teacher. Okay, Reina, you're going to okay, read well, in, a, in the home. Okay. Who else? Me, teacher. Well, Carlos, okay. Carlos, you're going to read the working family. And I need one more to read the marriage. What about the United States? 41 percentage? How do you say, teacher? Percent. 41 percent of percent homes have, mm -hmm. of home have three or more television. 33,000 of family almost always have dinner together. Okay. Thank you so much. This is percent. Es porcentaje. Percent. Como así, literalmente, percent. Percent? Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Look at this. They are talking about the... Um, facts about the families in United States and in home, they say it's like the 41% of homes have three or more televisions. Que tienen como tres o más televisores. Okay, and the 63% of families almost always have um, the dinner like together. And that's a really cool thing, right? It's This is about United States, of course. Okay, Carlos, you can read the working family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 55% 55 of mother with, with young children work. 78% of high school students have job. Thank you. Okay. okay. This is a working family, of course. Um, They are talking about like the mothers with young children work. And um, ah, the percent of high school students have jobs. And that's not like a really positive uh, thing because I I think like when you are studying, you need to um, focus on your studies. So I think this is not like a um, a good thing. And, but it's like part of the facts about the United States. And the final marriage. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con el final marriage? Uh, 
84% of adults be between the age of 18 or are 35 married. 25% of adults between the age of 18 for 34 like with their parents. Okay, look at this. Um, seventy four percent of adults between the ages of eighteen and thirty five marry, like como que se casan entre esas edades, and there is like twenty seven percent of adults between the ages in, of eighteen and thirty four that are living with their parents, como que están viviendo todavía con sus papás, and I think that it's a good, uh, it's not like a good fact, but it's a true fact because if you think about the economy, um, it's completely normal that the people, even the young people, and doesn't have the the um the enough money to have their own uh, houses or to be independent, right? So I understand this is about the United States. So we're going to talk about this in El Salvador. Um, how many people do you think that have three or more televisions in home? In home? De los, del 100% de salvadoreños, ¿cuántos creen que han de tener unas tres o más televisiones en su casa? Uh -huh. Escucho sus opiniones. Maybe twenty percent. Okay, twenty. Yeah, I will say twenty. There is not like too much families that have um three televisions, right? I don't know how many televisions do you have. Ustedes en su casita cuántos tienen? In my house, one. Okay, one. Okay, another answer. Reina dice que uno. ¿Quién nos da otra respuesta? How many televisions do you have? Sorry, no escuché. O sea, sí escuché, pero no escuché la respuesta. Alguien me habló. Tu televisión es el compañero. ¿Cuántas, perdón? Two. Two. Ok, look at this. Two. Ok. Two televisions. Reina has one. And our classmate says that he has and two. Ok. You can see that there is not too much families that have three or more televisions in their home. I have, for example... Two televisions, right? Two televisions. So that is not too much. So we will say that 20%, uh, as Reina says, it's good. Okay, un 20%, más o menos. Okay, so um, how many families do you think they um, always take the dinner together? ¿Cuántas familias creen que comen juntos la cena? Un porcentaje que se les ocurra. <coughs> Forty five percent. Okay, okay. Um, forty five percent. Y alguien más me me dijo algo, verdad? Twenty five percent. Okay. Uh, Reina says forty five, and Carlos says twenty five. Okay. Um, what do you think the rest of you? ¿Cuántos creen más o menos que es el resto de ustedes? Is Reina um, <laughs> it's Reina doing um the correct uh, comparison or Carlos? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Los demás que creen? I don't know. Maybe a thirty percent. <laughs> okay, that's the middle. Carlos is thirty percent. Thirty percent. Como digamos la 
la mitad entre lo que dijo Reina y lo que dijo el compañero. Yes, okay. I would say that maybe a 30% it's a good, um, it's a good, um, um, a good, a good fact, right? Como creo que más o menos por ahí va. Yeah, there is not too much families that always take dinner together. Maybe they have to work lately or um I don't know, maybe they have another things to do and all of these things. So um you can see that there is not too much and uh, families that take dinner together. Um also we we must have uh, we we must um have an interview to the families to know the, the correct and percent right como que tendríamos que entrevistarlos para saber cuál es el porcentaje correcto pero podemos dejarle ahí por un 30 40 yes of course okay how many people do you think that of mothers with young children work like cuántas mamás que tienen hijos chiquitos trabajan how, how many um mothers do you think that they work if they have the young children como niños chiquitos ¿Cuántas creen que trabajan? En El Salvador, of course. Seventy percent. Mm, yes. Even I say like um ninety percent. Yeah, yo incluso diría que sube hasta un 90%. Yes. That's, yes, because you know, um there is too much work that depends on the women. Um they if even if they have like the young children, babies and all of these things, um they need to to work. Yeah, to work. Um we all know that we don't have the best economy in the world. And even we are like suffering some consequences of all the things that happens in the and the the I the the COVID. So yes, there is too many mothers that are working. I would say like at um eighty and ninety, it's like a good percent. Even if we say like um maybe. I don't know. Um, like I, I wouldn't say, uh, the 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 hundred um the hundred percent, but I think it's like almost 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 hundred percent. Casi 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 lo cien. Yeah. So yes. Okay. Um, how many people in El Salvador do you think that they go to high school and of uh, they are students and they have jobs? ¿Cuántos creen que va que son estudiantes y tienen trabajos? ¿Qué hacen las dos cosas? Estudiar y trabajar al mismo tiempo. Uh -huh. ¿50, maybe? Yes, maybe. Yeah, of course, even more. Right, even more. For example, um, at the college, I am studying at the college. Um, I will say that of my classmates, de mis compañeros específicamente, la mayoría trabajamos. Sí, la mayoría somos estudiantes y trabajamos al mismo tiempo. So there is too much students that have a job because we need to. Remember that we were talking about the, the bad economy that we have, la mala economía que tenemos. And we said that, um, of course, um it it has some consequences like the students need to have the jobs que necesitamos tener trabajos porque ya no nos alcanza con los que nuestros papás ganan so yeah okay um i will say that the most of the salvadorians um between the ages of 18 and 35 got married Yo diría que al menos la mayoría de estas personas que van entre 18 a 35 si sí se casan. What do you think? Porque están reventando cohetes. Ok. 
<coughs> What do you think? ¿Creen que sí se casan a estas edades? Hace unos años no, teacher. Se casaban muy jovencitos, pero yo creo que ahora hemos llegado a la generación de que lo pensamos dos veces. <laughs> yeah. I think like uh, to get marriage is not like an easy thing. Even like uh, we were talking about the economy and it can have some consequences in marriage. Como, por ejemplo, yo no me podría casar en este momento e irme a vivir con alguien sabiendo que no puedo comprar una casa. For example, like I don't have the money to um to pay a house para pagar la renta de una casa, la renta, no digamos una casa completa, vea. So, yes, we think about it twice. Lo pensamos dos veces, como dice Reina, of course. We think about it twice. Yeah, I think it's a good answer. Okay, and um what do you think about the adults that are living with their parents? Los adultos que viven con sus papás. What do you think about it? <laughs> Dice Andrew, yo soy uno. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am, I am too. Yo también soy una adulta que vive con sus papás. I know. Because we can pay our own houses, right? Um, no es porque queramos seguir viviendo con nuestros papás, sino que no nos queda de otra. Sí, no, no es que pueda pagar una casa yo sola, for example, right? So we can't be independent if we don't have money. No podemos ser como independientes si no tenemos dinero, si no tenemos salarios justos. Yes, so we can think about it, okay? This is about the typical families in El Salvador, and we can have this comparison with the families in the United States. And you can see they have their own percent of these facts. And you can um, see that it's a little bit different when we talk about El Salvador because we are a different country. We have different traditions and different economy and different position in the international system. So yes, it's completely different. We're not going to say that we are the same thing because we are not. So yes, this is about the typical families, okay? And you can see, and I can say the adults between the ages of 18 and 30 and four like with their parents, I would say like um, maybe um 50%. Yeah, I would say like maybe the first percent if, um, I don't know if more than, than that person, but yes, like for example, my classmates and me, Uh, we are like old adults, but we are still living with our parents and we don't have like our own houses and we are like uh, dreaming about it. But um, we, we know that there is no that easy to say like, hey, um, bye, dad, bye, mom. I'm going to live on my own, right? Because we don't have the money to do that, even even if we are working, right? Incluso cuando trabajamos, no es como que podemos decir, sí, me alquilo una casa, right? Los alquileres son carísimos, son casi la mitad de lo que ganamos los estudiantes. De hecho, a veces incluso más. Yeah, so it's um it's so so hard. Okay. This is about typical families. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary that is in in this reading? No, everything is good. Everything is great. Okay, um, we're going to have a little speaking activity about using world. Esto como para cerrar la parte de world. So, um, I need you to write five things that you will do. Five things you would do. If you had money, okay, 
imagínense que tienen todo el dinero del mundo, ¿ok? Imagínense la situación, les dan todo el dinero del mundo, ¿qué harían? Sí, quiero que me cuenten de cinco cosas que ustedes harían. What would you do if you have money, right? ¿Qué harían si les dan la lotería y ustedes pueden gastarse ese dinero como quieran? So, this is the speaking activity. Do you have any questions? No? Okay. I'm going to give you a few minutes, unos cuantos minutos, pero les voy a poner mi screen, mi pantalla de Wold, para que lo tengan de fondo y esto no se les olvide. Can you see it? ¿Lo pueden ver? Uy. Yes, teacher. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to think about it. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que piensen en esto, and then we're going to socialize it. Go. <laughs>
Okay, guys, can you hear me? Me escuchan. Me oyen? Yes, Me... teacher. Sí. Okay. Perfect. So <clears throat> we're going to socialize about this um exercise. So I know you'll understand about will because we were talking about this, and I just need to be completely sure that you are understanding that we are seeing. So um this exercise is about wool right and i really love the question because i think that we can do too much things with money and we can allow to to we are allowed to to dream with that so um um i always do this question when i am teaching the the mall advert world so i like to hear about your answers about this i know you have um so many dreams that you um will do if you had money And of course, I have mine. Like, for example, if I had money, maybe I will travel to the world. Um, I would like to visit Greece and Germany and um, some Caribbean island. Um, I don't know, maybe some some countries that I don't really know where they are. Um, the the Sri Lanka. I don't know if you heard about Sri Lanka, but it's a little island like um down up like uh, the india and i don't know there's too much too much good places that i will I, i will visit also maybe i will um i don't know i would like to 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 buy clothes in paris i don't know i always see these uh, kind of girls that go to paris when they are so bad in so many series like um gossip girl and i would like to do that if i am self like um see you i'm going to um friends and i'm going to shopping to uh to get better i don't know this is like a superficial things because i i i didn't think about it um too much but maybe i will do that and i would like to hear about you what will you do if you had money Yeah, so think of, um, this is about your exercise, right? You are going to, um, or you imagine that you uh, had too much money. So what could you do in that case? ¿Qué es lo que harían en ese caso de tener como mucho dinero? So um, let me see who wants to start with this. ¿Quién quiere comenzar con esto? ¿Quién me quiere contar? Me teacher. Okay, tell me. I go. Uh, I would like to buy a house for the elderly ancianos. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. I would like to pay for people medicines. Um. I would like to give them motorcycle to my best friends. Um. I'll go. Like to buy a house for my sisters, and I go like travel to Colombia and Finlandia too. To Colombia and Finlandia, yes. What would you want to see in Colombia? Um, quizá Cartagena de India. Yes, I will do that too. Dicen que es un lugar muy bonito. And of course, I would like to visit Cartagena too. Um, have you ever um seen Betty La Fea? Yes. Yeah. So she visited um Cartagena, India, when she was so mad with um with the president of the company, and she went there with um I don't remember what was the the name of the girl, Angela. No, not Angela. I, I don't remember, but they 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 went to to Cartagena and it seems so great. Y se veía muy bonito. Y saben que no es tan caro ir. <laughs> Sale eh, más. Sí, perdón. Que es, que es más barato ir a Cartagena en Colombia que ir a Honduras. Así de heavy. Sí. <laughs> eh, yo solo estuve eh, en el aeropuerto de, de, 
de Medellín, así que es como que no conocí nada, ¿verdad? Ajá. Solo estuve por seis horas en el aeropuerto de, Me de Medellín, en el Dorado, así que sí me quedé con ganas de conocer. Yes, of course, en Medellín is, is far from Cartagena, está como lejitos de Cartagena. Sí, sí. son eh, ocho horas en autobús. Oh my God, that's too much. No, ni, ni, ni San Miguel está tan lejos. Ni la Unión está tan lejos. But we are so small, right? <laughs> Nosotros somos bien chiquitos. I know. And what would you like to see in Filipinas? Did you say Filipinas? No, no. Finlandia. Finland. Uh, yes. What, what would you like to see in Finland? Um, recientemente tuve un amigo que estuvo en Finlandia y me mandó unas postales y se ve el en la nieve y las montañas preciosas cubiertas de nieve. Entonces, por eso. Would you like to see the snow? Yes. Yeah, I would like to. Um, my dad is, uh, is, is actually living, uh, he is currently living in, in, in Las Vegas. And he says that um, they don't have like snow and they don't have like the fall of snow but in the mountains you can see the snow and i would like to visit um my my dad in in las vegas um to see the snow in in the mountains para ver la nieve en las montañas i would like to do that so maybe i will i will go to to another country who has snow but i will think about it because i am not a pretty good friend of 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 cold no soy como muy buena amiga del frío, aunque tampoco del calor. <laughs> Pero ya ven qué mal me pongo cada vez que hace frío. So, I would like to think about it, but it's really cool your plans, Reina. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that was the Reina wishes. Reina wishes, and that is so great. Thank you so much, Reina. So, who wants to tell me about your wishes? Además de Reina, ¿quién más me quiere contar? Andrew? Uh -huh. I'm all ears. Tell me, if you have too much money, what will you do, Andrew? I will go to Canada. Really? Yes. Why? It's, it's <laughs> the perfect place for the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? For the work, teacher. And I love Toronto. Okay. It's the home of the Drake. The... ¿Qué se dice? Cantante. Singer? The the singer trap in English. <laughs> uh, Drake, the, the singer? Yes, yes, Drake. He sings rap, right? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Uh-huh. He is from Canada. Yes, in Toronto. Um, I didn't um, know. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Only for the money, teacher. Only um, for the money. <laughs> don't have other things. <laughs> you don't <have>. okay. <laughs> but only Toronto or will you go to another place in Canada? No, only Toronto. Um Quebec is so so. But I love Toronto. Okay. Toronto. It sounds like a really good place to go. Um but they um um there they they speak French. Doesn't they? Don't, don't they? Um, me? No, they, they. They talk French, right? I'm learning I'm ah, French. Yes. Um, but it's English and French. English and French. So will you yeah. communicate in, in English? Or will you learn French to go there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No. Yeah, because you can learn both languages if you want to go to Toronto, Canada. You can learn how to communicate in French. I mean, 
they speak too much French because um it's like um um parte de de eh, ay cómo se llama esta cosa Gran Bretaña todavía son una um, un gobierno parla tienen gobierno parlamentario <laughs> yeah mm. so they speak French I don't know like um, do you like to speak French teacher sorry do you like to speak French yeah I can't um oh, I actually no. <laughs> <laughs> actually I would like to to learn French um I would like to to learn in Italian and Portuguese before, but I think French is more, um, I don't know, like if you travel to the world, you can find too much places that speak French before the, like after the English, como después del inglés, and the second mm -hmm. language um, is gonna be French, I think. So maybe French is gonna help me more than to learn Italian or Portuguese or something like that, but um i don't speak french yet but i am thinking about it and to learn it um i don't know when but i'm going to i'm, I'm gonna do it i'm sure that i'm gonna do it yeah because um if i if i could speak english i can learn another language right si aprendí a hablar inglés puedo aprender a hablar cualquier otro idioma uh, y a, a, sé español que es más complicado also, I would like to to speak Japanese. Japanese. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the Japanese. Um, no. I like the Italian. Italian. Because, um, I don't know, it's very easy. Uh, spaghetti pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, hate, I hate the French. Because in the, in the camera, um, how... Much people of the Canada, um, your language is the the French and in the English, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's more the the French. Yeah, I know they speak too much French. Um, even if you check the the requirements to go to Canada, for example, si se quiere llegar a vivir allá, you need to to speak French. To, to get a job, for example, para conseguir trabajo. So, yeah, you all, you need to, you can communicate yourself in English, but it's like a priority to um, learn to talk in, in French. I don't know. Maybe I would, um, I will have a master in, in the future, of course. And I'm thinking of Japan. Uh, because I would like to 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 see a different culture, a different country, como un, no solamente como un país distinto, sino una cultura distinta. So I would like to go to Japan. Me gustaría ir a Japón. No me pregunten por qué. O sea, pudiendo hablar inglés y podría ir a cualquier lado, quiero ir a Japón. <laughs> I like Brazil. Do you like Brazil? Yeah, I like Brazil. Yes. The Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah. In Portuguese, uh, it's not that difficult. Sorry? A Japón también, yes. What would you like to, to see in Japón? ¿Qué le gustaría ver en Japón? The culture, anime, manga. <laughs> yeah, me too. And me too. I would like to see anime without um watching the the screen because sometimes I need to do another things like to cook, um to wash the dishes. I don't know, and I can see anime because it's not the same thing when I am watching sitcoms, for example, that they talk in English and I understand the English than I am seeing anime and I don't understand <laughs> anything about Japanese. Bueno, que con el paso del tiempo a veces me aprendo una que otra palabra, pero no es lo mismo. No, no entiendo el, el japonés como entiendo el inglés. Entonces, quisiera poder ver anime sin tener que estar viendo la pantalla todo el tiempo. <ríe> yeah, I will do that. De tanto ver anime, algunas palabras se quedan. Yeah, of course. 
Oni-chan. <risa> yeah. Like Naruto-kun. Entonces dice Naruto-kun. Y es lo único que me aprendí de Naruto. <risa> yeah. Okay, Japanese is a good country to visit. We talk about Canada. We talk about Brazil. I, I would like to visit Rio de Janeiro. They have a, um, a festival, el Festival de Rio de Janeiro. Dicen que es super cool. I would like to visit Rio. Would you like to visit this carnival? <coughs> Ay, perdón. ¿A alguien le gustaría ir al carnaval de Rio también? No? Just me? No. no. Um, I like Brazil for the football, the soccer. <laughs> Sorry, the soccer. Ah. Uh... Yes, It's they mean, are so good. Go to one part, one play, one play, one partido. It's correct, one party. You no? can say match. Ah, match. one match of, of Brazil. And um, I like uh, Neymar Jr. <laughs> ah, you are fun for Neymar Brazil. Jr. Yeah. Okay, so that's the reason be that's the reason why you want to visit Brazil. <laughs> I don't like Carnival Rio. Why not? You don't like to dance? I don't know. Uh I believe that the dance uh you that that culture I don't know. Oh, That's so bad. I really like to dance. I am not good at that, but I like to dance and I would like to go there because Brazilians can dance. Ellos tienen un tipo de baile que siento que estás imposible de replicar. So I really like it. I would like to go to the carnaval in Brazil if I if I had money, I would like to go. Yeah. Si me gustaría ir. La verdad es que sí. Okay. Is there another another country that you would like to visit? Anyone? No? Algún otro país que quisieran visitar? Yes, French, French, uh, Francia. France? Yes, France. Sí, France. Uh -huh. um, la Torre Eiffel for um, a romantic dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and do you know that and to, to take dinner in the Eiffel Tower? It's so expensive. De hecho, subir por el, el ascensor es bien caro. Sale más barato subir por las escaleras, pero son un montón de pisos. So it's bien, bien complicado subir hasta allá arriba. So it's pretty expensive. I I haven't visited um, Europe yet, but my sister went this year and she says that there is um uh, so expensive to, to get... um. Um, to, to get up to the Eiffel Tower. Como que es muy caro subir a la torre y por eso no todos pueden subir y se pueden comprar como las entradas antes um, como para evitarse la cola de comprarlas. But yes, I would like to see like the complete Paris from the uh, Eiffel Tower. También tengo un amigo que fue hace poco y tomó videos desde la punta de París, desde, desde la punta de la Torre Eiffel de todo París, se miraba tan bonito, se mira como un edificio increíblemente alto, ni siquiera me puedo imaginar qué tan alta es la torre. So yeah, I would like to visit Fran uh, France too, and to see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and to take pictures with the Eiffel Tower, of course, y tomar la típica, la típica foto con la Eiffel Tower de fondo. I would like to, of course, I would like to. Okay, excellent guys, you are doing fantastic. So you can see that when we're talking about desires or wishes, to talk about, to talk with cult, it's so um necessary, right? So I would like to know if you have questions about cult. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre cult? How to use it, the structure, the meaning or something? No, es sobre el cult teacher, pero... Quisiera saber qué tal estuvo mi speaking. <laughs> so good, you are doing good. Les entiendo y eso es lo más importante, créanme. <laughs> no, pero, o sea, qué tanta regada estuve, porque 
No, don't don't say that. You are doing great. Yes, you are doing fantastic. Lo que pasa es que como que estoy como como practicando pues ahí donde trabajo y siempre le pregunto, les digo a los a los huéspedes, ¿verdad? Me dice, no, no, no está bien. Me dice, o sea, me entienden. <laughs> yes. So to practice is a good thing. It's a good way to learn. De hecho, lo habla bastante bien. Siento que ese es el punto, practicarlo. Porque no importa cuánto yo les explique las um, vocabulario, les dé tenses y todo esto. Si no lo hablan, no van a entender. Sí, so you're doing good, Andrew. Está muy bien. Thank you. Um... See you tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Ya me está despidiendo. It's Her time. Bias. It's time, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So, uh, it's good to see you. Um, If you don't have any more questions, yes, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. Bye. 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 See ya.